In Commitment 2022, every election season, we want you to get to know each candidate's positions on the most pressing issues. Tonight, we're hearing from the candidates in the gubernatorial race. We asked, how concerned are you about politically charged rhetoric that could pit Granite Staters against each other? You know, I think we've done a very good job keeping the craziness of politics at a minimal here. We see it nationally, of course, all the time. We see the, the arguing and the, and the, the, the very partisan um, uh, leanings that, that you see out there. But in New Hampshire, we do things in a bipartisan way. We work in a very independent way. We are an independent state, and that's why we've been able to get so much done. We understand that it's okay to, to give a little, to get a lot in terms of what you want in a piece of legislation. And sometimes you get what you want, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you gotta work harder, sometimes you gotta go make it better. So I don't know, I think in New Hampshire, we do a very good job of keeping the temperature down, focusing on issues that actually matter to people and understand that um, for the most part we are a fairly independent state and you have to kind of govern to that. I have always been able to work across the aisle virtually with anyone and that's because my entire training and sort of the way I work with people is by building relationships of trust and listening and what I've found is when I do that we can find that tiny thread of common ground that allows us to together get things done. I worked with one of the state reps who I've never had anything in common with on DNA privacy issues. We can do this, but the key is actually listening, understanding where we can meet, where we can come together. And that's the way we get things done in New Hampshire because you can't get anything done in New Hampshire just as a Democrat, just as a Republican. We have to do it together. And that's the way we move the Granite State forward.